In this extra step, I'm going to walk you through all the need to know bits and pieces and parts of TradingView's fantastic smartphone app, TradingView. I think that's what it's called. It's available for both iOS and Android devices. If you have a subscription to TradingView, you must have this app. It is way too useful to not be using it. Let me show you what it's all about. TradingView also has an iOS and Android app that is fan Fantastic. If you get a paid subscription to TradingView, you must download the app because there is just so much stuff in here that it makes it way better. One thing to keep in mind is they keep updating the app, so it will likely look different the um, when you watch it um, compared to now when I'm filming it in late August 2020. The location of everything is a little bit different because I'm using mobile, but the, the general idea of it is that here's my watch list, here's my chart, here are the ideas that people are sharing, as well as um, the ones that I'm following. Here in chats, I can see the public and private chats, and I also have my profile. Um, yay for that, I guess. Um, but really what we want to look at is our watch list. Now, we can't use a lot of the hotkeys, obviously, because we're on mobile. Our list here is the same as our watch list availability on the site. We're going to stick with this one. And when I tap on a ticker or a chart, it shows me it here on trading view. So this is great. So this is a really quick tutorial on how to use this note that I have indicators already set up to go. I can view them or hide them if I want to. I can also double tap my screen to hide the RSI that's there just like double clicking. I can zoom in and out by clicking, uh, sorry, clicking, tapping and holding on the right side continuum and double tapping to reset the spacing. I can zoom in by, you know, spreading my fingers here and I can, you know, scroll by just dragging left and right on the screen. It's pretty intuitive. It's, it's very simple to use. Um, I can reset everything by double tapping there and double tapping on the right side. So that way it puts the scale back. Um, it's great. I also get the ability to check out all of my labels. I can add things. I can take them away. But note that I am actually looking at one of my layouts. So to access your layouts, it's here on the right side. You have to scroll and tap on the ruler and the wrench, and I can load my, um, my layout. So here's my TradingView 101 layout. There we go. This is the last thing that I was looking at, this turtle strategy. Also, the chart is the same. I can delete it. And now I want to look at not just the euro, I want to look at um, the Japan yen against the USD. There we go. So now I'm able to view this chart. Um, if I want to change the time frame, just tap the D and I can choose different time frame intervals. Um, if I have a watch list, I can use these up and down buttons, but note that it's going to default to the watch list I have enabled. And this is um, all crypto uh, Bitcoin market pairs on Binance specifically. Now, if my layout is a multi layout, let me uh, go back. Here I am on my favorite layout that I use for everything. It is a four by four grid. Um, you can see all the four grids here, and this is not so easy to see on mobile, but have no fear. In the bottom right corner, there is this empty looking box, and next to it, there is a four. That's letting you know that there are four screens. So to quickly cycle through them, just tap the screen that you want to see. If I want to see the four hour, I can just tap the top right, the one hour, bottom left. There we go. Just like that, I can view the different time frames, and it's pretty much the same. My drawing tools are here, but they're just a little bit different, and they're organized um, on the right side, which may be a little bit confusing, but it's okay. My indicators are here as well. Um, I can also add or compare just like I can with the desktop version. I can add alerts and also view my alert logs, which is very handy. I can see alerts here that I have active as well as alerts that have triggered here in my log, letting me know about different actions happening on the market. I can tap an active alert and it's letting me know when it was triggered. I can open up the chart. I can stop the alert, edit it, clone it. I mean, it's very intuitive. Um, they've done a lot of work on this, and it's very nice. Um, the next things really to look at are just the chart. If you want to give yourself more space, you can zoom in and zoom out. 
Um, you can also move your device to um, landscape view so that way you get a lot more space to see. Um, so it's not the same as using the desktop, but it's pretty good. I mean, they've done a really good job trying to make it as similar as possible, as convenient as possible to use your mobile device. If you're using TradingView and you have a subscription, I really, I strongly suggest that you get the app. It's just gonna make things so much easier. We've covered all four parts of TradingView in this course so far, yet there's still one part that you're really gonna to wanna to know more about, and that is the TV or TradingView subscriptions. Which one is right for you? What's gonna be the best choice for you? And a little trick that you can use to get a pretty good discount.